right along. Ah, my favorite, Reactor. This is Native Instruments. Reactor is just incredible. If you ever get a chance to buy it or work with it, it's definitely got a steeper learning curve. But this program, VST plugin, VST soft synthesizer plugin, I should say, is incredibly versatile. And right now it's creating that glitchy sound. And beyond that, I put a little uh, Roomworks reverb on it. And that's about it. Just gives it a little bit more of a natural sound to it. string trio. I've put some automation on the track as far as volume goes. This is also a Native Instruments. Compact. This is one of their presets, believe it or not. We did, we talked about this a little bit in a previous video. It's a really nifty soft synthesizer. I love the sound of it. It sounds very original. It sounds like a string trio. Very good samples. So I gotta hand it to Native Instruments. They do great work. And the drums. This is actually a group channel, that's why it's at the very end. And I put a little uh, EQ and uh, some other fun stuff on the drums to kind of make them sound a little bit more raw. The end result is this. Very beautiful sounds. You may notice we are clipping on the master. I'm still mixing this track. I have a Q clone on it, which is like a, a mastering emulator, so to speak, by Waze. It's, uh, it's a really cool plugin. Just need to turn the gain down a little bit. Hopefully that'll prevent it from clipping. Huh? That's basically it. Now, if you need to do automations, it can all be done in this view, in the sequencer view. We zoom in a little bit. Like right here, we have our track volume for Reactor that's been automated. And you can uh, zoom in, zoom out on all these tracks. You can do all sorts of different parameter changes. That's basically it. Nuendo, I mean, there's a lot more that this program can do, endless amounts. Uh, you can customize this program to the nth degree, depending on what you need to do in your studio. But this is by far my favorite program to use over Pro Tools, Cubase, anything. This is the bottom line. This is my favorite. And uh, I, I think if you give it a chance, give, get some time to work with it and get it under your fingers, you'll see it's a very versatile an incredibly great sounding program to work in. And whether you're doing soft synthesizers or audio or whatever, it just sounds awesome. It's not as intuitive for looping uh, like Ableton Live, which I also like to use, but let's not forget we can rewire those two programs to work together at the same time. So as long as you have a dual processor, we can uh, make both those work together. But again, this is uh, Nuendo. Um, all sorts of different different stuff that we can do with this and we'll probably jump into some more details in some later videos but for now this will get you started just getting used to the program and its interface thanks for watching